hi guys welcome back to my channel today's video is just gonna be me getting my life together because y'all i've been a mess lately i'm not even gonna lie let's just roll the intro and i'll come back and explain y'all what's going on <laughs> first of all let's just enjoy this golden hour moment you know, i wish it didn't look like a ran over Krabby Patty but anyways so essentially if you've been following me on social media or watch my last videos you would know that I have actually been on vacation for almost the past two weeks um, it wasn't two weeks consecutively it was kind of like so basically I went to Tennessee to visit my family for five days I was back here for literally one day I packed up myself again and then we went to the beach Rehoboth Beach for my little brother's baseball tournament um, and I was planning on vlogging the second trip. The first trip I did vlog like the packing and then the um, travel a little bit like that, which y'all blew that video up for literally no reason. I was so shook because I swear, it's the videos that like I almost don't post that like do the best. It's crazy. Like, I don't understand how that works. I don't understand the algorithm. I don't understand, but thank you guys for watching that video. You guys are really liking it, which is great for me. Um, I just wish I would have uh, maybe done a couple things different in it and that people were gonna see it. So, um, yeah, but. Yeah, so we went to Tennessee to visit family, and then I came back for a day, and then the second trip was going to the beach for my brother's table tournament, as I just said earlier, and I just really was not, I didn't film at all there, really. I was going to do like a road trip vlog, but the trip was only like two hours, and I was just in a bad mood because long story short, slept in, I missed work, I had babysitting, but then I couldn't go babysit because I had work and I didn't realize it. It was a whole messy day. It doesn't even matter. It's in the past, thank God, but... And that day was wild and then I was just in a bad mood and then I didn't film that day and then I ended up not filming at any points in the trip because we were in a cabin we were like camping essentially so there was no Wi-Fi at all I had to do homework and I literally had to use my sister's hotspot it was very very trifling um, we got back on Monday today's Thursday actually I never really introduced like what time it is it's currently like 7 o'clock um, I literally babysat today from 10 a.m. to like 6 o'clock was it 6 o'clock it was 6.30. But I wanted to hop on here because I got home and I got this great email from YouTube that I'm eligible to get monetized, which is amazing. If you guys don't know what that means, essentially it's where I can put ads on my videos and then I can start to kind of make some kind of revenue off of YouTube, which is amazing because like y'all, I love this whole process, this whole thing. Like I love vlogging and talking and just interacting with people that I otherwise would have never met like so many of you guys are so nice to me and leave me the best comments and like the fact that I get to do this and like I can even make money off of it is insane so yeah I'm gonna I started kind of work filling out the paperwork and stuff like that for that process so um, the only thing I have left before I'm officially monetized is for YouTube to like review my account and stuff also I got my nails done I did this really cool thing where I got like blue on one hand and pink on the other I got it on my friend Megan which I don't know if she watches these videos but Hey girl, we're watching. I don't think she does, but it's okay. Um, but yeah, so that's super exciting being monetized. Um, because then I could, if I can make money off of videos, then like that means I can put my money into my videos. That means you guys will get even better quality videos. It's great, it's gonna be exciting. I hope you guys stick around for that. Tomorrow is the last day of my summer classes. You guys know I've been taking summer classes. Um, literally the spring semester ended May 21st and my first summer class started May 24th or 23rd so I've literally only had three days of summer break it wasn't even really summer back then it was like rainy the whole time it was tragic um, but yeah I've only had three days of break and after tomorrow I will be done with nutrition which is my last summer class I took English nutrition and I took developmental psych for two weeks that was interesting in itself but yeah, I'm going to be done with my summer classes and then I will have from tomorrow, which is the 17th of July, I will have until August 20 something if um, that's when fall classes start. So I'll have a little bit over a month to do literally whatever I want. I have a lot of content prepared for y'all and I'm just super excited that I'm going to have way more time to do it and focus on YouTube. And it's going to be super exciting. But yeah, so this vlog is basically just me getting my life together. Um, I want to start it tonight because I was excited about the monetization news. Very exciting for me. Very fun. Fun fact, my channel was monetized like four years. No, it was definitely like five, six years ago um, when I used to make like DIY videos and like they're very cringy. I privated them all. Don't even try to look for them because you won't be able to find it. I think if you can find the only video from that time in my life that I have up still is like what's on my iPhone when I had the iPhone 5C 
yikes guys that video is a hot mess but yeah so i want to start the vlog tonight because i actually ordered a kindle um because i want to start reading more and with my summer class being over like it's hard for me to read during the school year because like i have to do so much reading for class that i don't want to read other stuff it's kind of stupid i know but i really just want to like delve into reading because i used to be such an avid reader like in seventh grade like in middle school y'all i would read all the time i didn't have any friends but i just read the whole time and the friends i did have we talked about reading and it was a great time but now i want to start getting back into reading because i miss it and i feel like people who read are just you know intellectually i don't know they're just they they just hit different so i just want to i want to do that i want to train my brain i want to feed my brain knowledge and not social media bikini picture selfies all the time so yeah but that comes in the mail anytime it's supposed to come you know amazon's like it's gonna arrive before eight o'clock it's 7 13 so it should be here soon i wanted to film a little unboxing because i love unboxing videos i don't care what it is like you could literally unbox like a screen protector and i'd be like wow this is amazing y'all look what fun we came packaging Okay guys, it's literally 8.45 and my packages just got here as you saw. It was really awkward because I was picking up the first package and then the Amazon lady came around the corner with two other ones and I had my camera and I was really awkward. So we love that because I'm so excited to read guys. Like, it's so stupid that this is motivating me to read but like, whatever. And we're just unboxing it. I feel like you guys know how to open packages so. This is the 2018 version of the Amazon Kindle Paperwhite. Um, so it's the one that has like the paper like white screen and then i got this screen protector because it was the cheapest one they had it's black i don't really like black things like my vibe is more like white pink but i saved like three dollars by getting this one so i was like why not um so i'm gonna try this case on but if i don't like it then i'll return it and get a colorful one but i kind of dig like the black vibe though i don't know like, because because the kindle's black i feel like an all black moment would look really nice look how tan i look wow all right so there's that i'm gonna open this baby up whoop and wow here she is if you take it out of the box our good sis little why is it so close up it's our good little kindle it's so cute it's literally so small but i kind of love it and then it comes with this charging cable that's literally all it comes with it doesn't even come with an adapter uh, i'm just gonna go ahead and set this up and then i will come talk to you guys when i'm done so anyways if you guys are wondering why i bought a kindle so i really just want to read more and honestly, I tried reading, like, the big reason why I got my iPad, um, other than for school and stuff, was like, oh, I can use my Kindle. I mean, I can use the Kindle app on my iPad, link it with my Amazon, and, like, read that way. Because the county I live in, the library, they do free ebooks. Um, you can, I mean, they're not free, but you just rent them for two weeks, like a regular library book. Um, but you can do it on your, like, iPads or whatever device can hold. It's so tiny. Oh, that's so cute. But you can just rent books on whatever device you can get the Kindle app on. So I was reading them off my iPad, but y'all, like, my eyes were hurting so bad. I don't know what it is about reading on, like, a phone screen. Like, if it's, like, legit reading, like, books and textbooks. I don't know. For some reason, textbooks don't really bother me that much. But it's just, like, trying to read a book for fun on my iPad, I literally feel like my eyes were hurting. This thing is so light. There's the little Kindle. Okay. I think I have the wrong Wi-Fi password. I always have to try the password like four times because I never know what the password actually is. Good morning, guys. I look insane right now, but I just wanted to update you all. Um, it's currently 11.50. I'm getting ready to go babysit today. I babysit from 12 to 6. No, 12.30 to 6. And I've just been out for a couple hours now just watching YouTube. Because I was on vacation for so long, y'all, I am so behind on YouTube and... I'm like really weird. I like watching my YouTube videos in like a chronological order. But anyways, so I just heat up my coffee again and I'm eating some strawberry oatmeal. And I'm watching YouTube. So that's pretty much all I've been doing this morning. But I'm gonna get ready to go babysit. I'm just trying to fuel up before I go. Oh yeah. Sleepy tigers. Okay, my tigers. It's bedtime. Hey guys, so um update. Yeah, so it's currently like seven o'clock almost like 7 30 i really have no motivation to do my final at all like i'm really just not feeling it i'm just so ready to be done with that class i had some coffee i just ate dinner feeling good feeling great but i just do not have any motivation to do that final and i don't even really have that much to study because i just feel like i know everything in nutrition i mean not to sound like you know i'm like i know everything but like i mean it's a lot of stuff we already talked about a lot in bio and all that stuff so I don't know. I just need to find motivation to do it. Okay, guys. I'm getting ready to my final. I'm literally forcing myself because I do not feel like it. 
what color do we think is smart let's do green since this is like a bio class i always do bio for green comment down below what color you make your folders for classes um like i always do like bio and like science is green and i do like math i always do math red for some reason and then like history blue or purple i don't know if you don't know what i'm talking about then never mind but <laughs> yeah i know anyways um, yeah, I'm gonna take my final. I just wanna get her with. I really could have tried harder and studied, so hopefully I don't fail it. Cause that'd be really tragic if I failed it. I don't think I will though. It's pretty easy, honestly. And much, much, much later. Hey guys, so it's cur why did I do that? Cringy. Anyways, it is currently 917. I got a 90 on the final, which is fantastic because I'm gonna be honest, y'all, I really did I never touched the textbook for that class, so and I feel like I got a pretty good understanding of nutrition. I'll take a 90. Um, but yeah, so my grade in the class right now is an 88. Why am I hunching over? So my grade in the class is an 88, which would be great because we get two of our tests dropped. Like we get our we get our lowest assignment score dropped, and then we get our lowest test score dropped. So that only gonna increase my grade. So I'm very excited to see um how if I can end this class with an A, that would be fantastic if I could. Um, but I mean, if not, it's fine. My teacher's super nice though, so I low-key think even if I end with an 89, she'll still round it for me. So fingers crossed, guys. Um, but yeah, I'm so excited to be done with this class. Oh my gosh, it's finally summertime. It's literally July. And I finally get to have summertime. So this is exciting for you guys because I will be able to be producing so much content now. This is my first break from classes since pretty much last summer. So, feels great. I'm super excited. Hey y'all, good morning. It's currently Saturday. It's like 9, 16. Um, I have my interview in exactly an hour and at 10, 15 at the mall. So I need to start getting ready. Um, because whenever I have like interviews and stuff, I literally will leave so early to go because I don't want anything bad to happen. Um, so that's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna go, we're gonna get ready and be prepared super early. It takes me like, so if I take the highway and take the most direct route to get to the mall, it'll take me like 15 minutes to get there, but I want to take the back way because I hate the highway. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh wow, okay, cute. So it's basically gonna take me like 20 minutes to get there. So if it's at 10.15, that means I need to leave here at like 9.50. But like just in case like a truck rolls over or something, I think I should leave at like 9.40. Also this clear coffee mug is from Walmart. I'm obsessed with it. It was literally 94 cents. So just a tip there. Yeah, I'm just going to get ready. I think it's fine if I wear jeans, honestly. And plus it's like summertime, so. Okay, guys. So it's currently 10.13. Um... It took me a little bit to figure out the parking because I never parked on the side of the mall before, but essentially I really don't have time to get ready that much. So what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to brush back my brows and then do a little bit of mascara and then call it a day because I need to go in there and figure out where the store is. So I had this really funny audio from Spongebob over this clip, but it got copyrighted so I can no longer include it in this video. But just imagine it's that do 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 yeah that one okay imagine that thanks hey guys so it's currently 12 11 um the interview honestly i don't really feel too good about that interview not because of anything i did but just like i literally got there i had to call the guy who like the boss i guess at the store because um the doors to the mall weren't open so i had to go back to the employee way which i had no idea what i was doing i literally walked in and i was like uh and then I got to the store. I waited like 10 minutes outside the store. And then I called the front desk like two times. And then the guy finally comes out from the back. He was like printing off papers or something. He was really nice though. Like the dude was really nice and cool. But it just seemed very unorganized in there. And the last thing I want to do is kind of sign myself up for another job that's going to be really unorganized. So I'm thinking American Eagle is going to be out the question. Unfortunately, um, but I did stop in Aerie and everybody in there was super duper nice. I did call them. Um, a couple days ago and they said they'd get back to me on Monday but I just wanted to stop in there just to see like if the same person was there and maybe they had any updated info um, but they didn't but I just they wrote down my name and number and then I also went to Ulta and Francesca's and got some stuff but I'll show you guys when I get home because it's literally so hot and I just want to go home like I'm wearing jeans and it's just not not it so I'm gonna go home but I'll talk to you guys when I get home so 
Hi, can I have a medium caramelized coffee with just cream, no sugar? Okay. And that'll be all. It's the perfect Thank you. Thank you. You know, we had to get some Dunkin'. Listen, it's just so hot. I'm feeling drained. And also, I was so late this morning. Well, I wasn't late. Like, I got there on time. But I, since I left later, um, I mean, since I had to rush to get ready, essentially, I never really drank most of my coffee. So, my mom probably definitely finished it because she hates when I leave coffee sitting out. But I'm just, like, really tired. Wow, my face looks so red. Cute. guys gonna monitor the I'm gonna record the first sip yep yes ma'am oh yeah I just realized I never showed you guys my outfit earlier so basically I'm just wearing this shirt I'm pretty sure this is from Kohl's and then these jeans are American Eagle jeans still like falling down because I was sitting for so long but yeah they're just like basic blue denim jeans and then I wear my fake Burks um, and then I have this bag that's from the beach we're hoping it's so cute it's like a little hippie boho bag and then I'm wearing this bralette from Aerie. And then I'm wearing these necklaces, which I think... Did I get these from Sheen or American Eagle? I just want to show you guys what I got from the mall really quick while I was there. Um, Because I was like, well, I'm already here. I might as well get something. Or like, well, not get something, but I might as well just look around. Because I haven't been to the mall literally since way before Corona. And then I've heard that... I'm taking my pants off also because like it's just... These jeans are too hot. I'm sorry. I literally only wear jeans because... It was a job interview and I don't know if I like I was gonna wear ripped jeans because it's like summer but then I was like I don't know if that's like not professional even though it's like a jean place I don't know so I'm currently not wearing any pants it's fine I'll show you guys what I got really quick so I went to Francesca's and I went to Ulta at Francesca's I didn't I'm gonna be honest I really didn't need anything in here but literally I paid like eight dollars these two things so I got this because I needed to find a place to organize my jewelry better my jewelry is in this like really like this organizer that's way too small for all of it and it just doesn't work so I got this little thing because their Francesca's whole entire store is 50% off on regular price items, which if you shop at Francesca's, you know that's a really big deal because they have never have sales like that. So it just says, do more of what makes your heart happy. I thought that was cute. It's just like a little ring dish. It was only like $6 on Amazon. Like it's like the same price, so I didn't really think it was like overpriced or anything. And then I also got these super cute earrings because they were literally like $4 and they were originally like $20. They're these really cute like gold and then they have like pink little frills on them. I think they're just so cute for summer. Anyways, yeah. So there's that. I'm Francesca's. Um, me and my sister are actually going to go to the mall tomorrow because she wanted to look for stuff. Um, So I might go back there and get some more stuff because everything's 50% off. That's crazy. So basically I've been looking for a new brow product that's of course cheap. And um, I usually use the e.l.f. brow pencil. But sometimes like since it's so thick it makes my eyebrows look really super sharp. And I don't really like that. Although my brows do need help with the shape. Um, but I just thought for summer it would be quick and easy just to get this Essence Make Me Brow. It's like a brow gel mascara because I have to brush my brows out like no matter what. I did it today. Um, but my eyebrows do need a little bit of pigment as well. So I thought this would be really cool to try. I've never tried a brow gel before so I thought this would be fun to try. It was like $2. And then the next thing I got is I'm pretty sure this is probably supposed to be a dupe for the A Cosmetic CC Cream. Um, I have that but I got it. It's like it was too light for me when I got it. I just did not try it on the store. I'm really tan right now. I think this is probably the tannest I've ever been in my life. So I got this Dream Urban Cover by Maybelline. It's a full coverage protective makeup sunscreen. Oh, I didn't know it was full coverage. Oops. Uh, but it has SPF 50 in it. That was the highest SPF I found in the store. And I know that like anything above SPF 30 is all the same thing, but I just felt better buying SPF 50 than none. So basically, I just want to wear this like when I go out and stuff in the summer to protect my face. I don't really like wearing face makeup, but like if I'm going to have to put sunscreen on my face that makes my face feel heavy and stuff, I might as well have one that has a little coverage in it. So I'm hoping this is the right shade because you can't try anything on with Corona. Like all the um, display like sample things are like all closed. And so yeah, I'm going to go put my bathing suit on. I'm going to go tan for a little bit um, and maybe go in the pool. And I got my Dunkin'. That's very exciting. And yeah, it was a really good morning though. I'm glad I got to go experience a job interview at American Eagle. I don't think I will be working there though. Maybe Aerie if I am if I can get a call back. Yeah guys, so that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I just spent the rest of the day relaxing and I hope you guys can relax too. Thank you all so much for watching. I love you so much and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.